Since this is Valentine's Day, we wanted to examine the ever-changing world of soap opera proposals. So we've asked two very popular stars whose teenage fans fill the NBC mailrooms with proposals all year long. From Brotherly Love, here are Joey and Matthew Lawrence. <clears throat> Matt, look, I know that we're in a room with some of the most beautiful women in Hollywood, but uh, we've got a job to do. So I hope that you can keep your mind on your work and... Uh, Matt, <clears throat> it's your line, buddy. Eva LaRue. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize for my brother. <laughs> Look, we're here to talk about the romantic proposals that are an important part of daytime television. Matt, look, can I count on you just to <laughs> keep your mind on your work for one second here, okay, and off Eva LaRue? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, John. Sure. Thank sure. you, thank you. <laughs> Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> Let's get to the package, all right? <clears throat> It was exactly the way I always dreamed it to be. Every single word you said. Yeah, where's the but? There isn't Look, any. I don't, I don't want to go through this listen, all over again. Listen, I'm not going to just No, I've to already heard it all before. No, you haven't. No, it always comes down to the same thing, Lucy. No. I swear, like a shadow that's by your side, I'll be Now's the best time. Ask what? Ask you to marry me. I swear, by the moon and the stars and the stars, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm asking you to marry me, Doc, will you? Marry me. This is the third proposal I've gotten in a month. <laughs> So a female character goes from playing a bad girl to a good girl. You can tell that because they cut way down on the eye makeup. <laughs> but take Amy Carlson. She's going from bad to good and she's always looked great. Here she is with an actor who's always good. Josie and Gary from Another World, Amy Carlson and Timothy Gibbs. <laughs> Even sinister. He should stop at nothing and yet still have a slice of likability. Kind of the same qualities you'd look for in a good lawyer. <laughs> Take a look at our three cold-hearted baddies who are this year's nominees for Outstanding Villain. You can never love me. <laughs> just do it! Shoot me just like you shot Ryan! What is this? For the DA, unfortunately. I didn't confess. You have to live with yourself. Correction. You have to live with me. Amy. Is it a man who signed your very conflated paycheck? Alan, did you help Brett Lawrence get away from the cops? No. You weren't ready to throw away a fortune to get him out of town? Of course not. It's just a misunderstanding. That's the kind of bull you're going to throw at me. I am out of here. Guard! Sit! Don't you leave me. You're the stuff that Rachel needs to scrape off the bottom of her shoes. Well, if I'm scum, then what does that make you? 
I wonder what your smart little girl would think if she found out that Supermom had done the wild thing with Uncle RJ while she was still married to Hank. Oh, you want the games to stop? Why don't we tell Rachel the truth right now? The nominees for Outstanding Villain are Grant on Another World. He's the senator. He killed his brother, and probably any chance he had to be happy, he's Mark Pinter. Alan on Guiding Light, the conniving businessman who controlled everything but Reva's heart, Ron Raines. And of course, RJ on One Life to Live, the dreaded blackmailer who slept with his sister in law, good man. And then he threatened to expose the entire family of fairies, Timothy D. Stickney. And the winner is... Oh! Oh, Mark Pinter, another Lynn Lee and the editors of Soap Opera Digest, thank you very much for the nomination. And um, the fans, thank you very much. I think we're trying to get fans back. They fell off a little in 95, and the reason we're here is because we have good stories to tell. Okay? Uh, I need to thank NBC, Don Olmeyer and Kathy Talbert and Susan Lee for the support you give Another World, uh, and Procter & Gamble, Ken Fitz, who's our uh, main man. Uh, we have a terrific executive producer. Her name is Jill Farron Phelps, and she's put this show back on the road, ladies and gentlemen. We have a great staff, a great crew, and a terrific cast, and I'm pleased and honored to be working with them. Last but not least, I have to thank my family, Dylan, Siri, Hannah, Morgan, Kelsey, and Georgia. I love you. You're my Valentine's. My beautiful and talented wife, Colleen Zang-Pinter, I love you, darling. This is yours. Thank you very much.